we are here at California Adventure. Today is the start of their Lunar New Year Festival. So you already know we're gonna try everything. I'm gonna let you know what's good, what's not good. There's already quite a few items that have caught my eye and I'm super excited to try them with you guys. So if you're excited for this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And without further ado, let's go try all the food. So for our first stop of the Lunar New Year celebration, we went to Bamboo Blessings and Wrapped with Love, and we grabbed some dumplings and treats. First, let's try this taro Vietnamese style iced coffee. It's Vietnamese style coffee, cocoa powder, and condensed milk garnished with a taro chocolate sweet cream. And of course, we have to use our Feed Mei Mei glass boba straw. Link will be in the description as always. I'm gonna try to sip it first. Oh, it does have like a sweet taro cold foam on top. Let's give this a mix. Oh, it's such a nice purpley color on top. Oh, that is Vietnamese coffee, all right. Very strong. I think this is some of the strongest coffee I've had in the parks, and I've tried a lot of their cold brews. This is gonna wake me right up. It has a nice sweetness to it, but mostly you're just getting that really strong, prominent coffee flavor. And after mixing the taro foam in, you actually don't get that much taro flavor. So if you wanna keep the taro flavor, I would recommend sipping it rather than mixing it in and drinking it like that. But overall, not bad, and it's also not too sweet. Next up, we have these fried lemongrass chicken dumplings with plum sauce. Whoa, that has a strong lemongrass flavor. Ooh, they were not kidding when they said lemongrass. <laughs> the outside does have a nice crisp to it. It's really interesting because it doesn't have that like crispy texture that you would get from like deep frying it. It more has a texture of like you air fried it, but I don't think they air fried it. I do think they fried it in oil. So it's very interesting. The lemongrass is definitely the prominent flavor here. And you also get a sweetness from the plum sauce on the outside. Overall, they're okay. Would I get them again? Probably not. The dumplings that I tried last year were actually better than these, but we do have another dumpling item to try. These are the steamed pork and vegetable dumplings with black garlic sauce. Let's give it a little dip in that black garlic sauce. It's actually quite a thick sauce. Mm. These are not bad. I like that the wrapper has a little chew to it and the filling is really nice with that steamed pork and vegetable. I think it's like cabbage in there. And this sauce adds a lot of flavor too. If you're gonna pick one of the dumplings to try, I would recommend these over the lemongrass ones for sure. Next up, we have this strawberry milk tea macaron. It's a strawberry buttercream with milk tea center. In past festivals, they would have a purple sweet potato version of this, which I always really liked. So I'm excited to try this strawberry milk tea version. And I'm twinning because I have a strawberry boba milk tea headband. <laughs> Stay to the end of the video if you want a chance to win one. The texture of the macaron cookie, super nice. Got a crisp on the outside, a little chewy on the inside. And then that strawberry buttercream, it reminds me a lot of like strawberry pocky. It's not as sweet as strawberry pocky coating, but it does have a very reminiscent flavor. It's a little more tart, a little more creamy and light. How chu, how chu. Let's try to get to that milk tea center. Ooh, the milk tea center does taste like milk tea. Like it has that classic milk tea flavor. It's quite sweet, so it balances out the little tartness from the strawberry buttercream. When you get the strawberry part and the milk tea part both together in one bite, really good. But I would say if you just get the milk tea part on its own, it's too sweet, it's too overpowering. So you definitely need a bite with the milk tea and the strawberry part. But yeah, really good, definitely recommend. All right, last but not least, we have this Lunar New Year Punch. It's mango nectar, tangerine and grapefruit juices, and banana and coconut syrups garnished with mango jellies. I was with it until the banana part. I'm a little bit concerned about that, but let's go ahead and give it a mix. 
whoa. My tongue just went on like a fruity roller coaster. It starts off with the citrus notes, like the tangerine and the grapefruit. And then you get a weird kind of like coconutty twist and you finish off with the mango jellies. Very interesting. I'd say the strongest flavor is actually the coconut. It's very refreshing, but I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I think it's a very interesting combination of fruity flavors. I do like the texture of the mango jellies. It actually has a little bit of a chew to it. You know, I think it's because at the end you get a lot of the coconut flavor and then you also get some of the bitterness from the grapefruit, which I think I don't like. I'm not a huge fan of bitter things. So I feel like that is ruining it for me. Surprisingly, I was not thrown off by the banana. It wasn't that strong, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you end up liking it. isn't technically part of the Lunar New Year celebration, but I've been really wanting to try it. And I tried to come yesterday, but they were all sold out. So I thought I would share it in this video with you guys. And it is the Gyoza Dog. This is originally from Tokyo Disney, which I visited last month and I tried this and I loved it. If you haven't seen my Tokyo Disney video, I'll link it in the cards in the description box if you want to check it out. I'm hoping it's just as good as the one in Tokyo Disney, although it is much more expensive in the US Disneyland. It has those signature Gyoza folds. And this one is a lot smaller than the one in Tokyo Disney. The one in Tokyo Disney is quite long. I want to say it's like maybe like that long. This one is also different because it comes with a dipping sauce on the side. Let's go ahead and break this apart. Whoa, just look at that steam. Oh my gosh, such a meaty filling. Let's give it a dip in the sauce. Ooh. This one tastes different from the Tokyo Disney one. Like it's seasoned differently and the bun isn't as fluffy here. It does have a good amount of filling. The sauce is actually a little bit spicy. I feel like the one at Tokyo Disney is seasoned better, but since this one comes with the sauce, it kind of makes up for it because that's where you get a lot of the flavor from. Also, I don't know if it's just the one that I got, but it's a lot greasier than the Tokyo Disney one. Just holding it, I have all this grease on my hands. I feel like somewhere in here, I think it's from the sauce. I'm getting like a ginger flavor, which if you guys have been here for a while, you know that I hate ginger. It's my number one most disliked food. So yeah, not a huge fan of that little hint of ginger, but overall it's not bad. Is it as good as Tokyo Disney? No, but it'll hold me over till the next time I'm there. <laughs> All right, this feels good. You and I think we got something special and I don't need to try any harder. It just better, it just good when I'm with you. All right, this feels good. You and I think we got something special and I don't need to try any harder. It just better, it just good when I'm with you. All right. 언제부터 시작한지 잘 모르고, baby. 너의 예쁜 목소리만 잘 알아, baby. You, 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 Okay, so we just stopped by a bunch more booths. And first we have this Kung Pao Bao from Prosperity Bao and Buns. It has plant-based chicken, toasted peanuts, and scallions. Mm. Mm. I'm so shocked that this is plant-based chicken because the texture is very similar to real chicken. I do like the crunch from the peanuts. The bao is nice and soft and fluffy. However, I do think this is lacking in flavor. Like it has a little bit of flavor, a little tiny bit of spice, but definitely could use more. But yeah, overall, not a bad plant-based option. I'm just shocked that the chicken texture is so similar to real chicken. Next, we have this barbecue pork bun with kimchi mayo and garlic chili crunch. That garlic chili crunch looks intense on there. Like it looks quite spicy. I think this is gonna get really messy, but let's try to break this open. Woo! Oh my gosh. Look at that filling. You can see that pork. And yeah, my hands are gonna messy. <laughs> Wow, it's very interesting. The barbecue pork is nice and umami, has a lot of flavor, but sometimes when you have barbecue pork, it's like sweet. This one isn't as sweet. The kimchi mayo adds extra flavor and creaminess. And then also that garlic chili crunch, it has some like peppercorn spice in there. The Kung Pao Bao, it was definitely lacking in flavor, but there is no lack of flavor here. So out of the two, I definitely like this one more. Next up from Longevity Noodle Co, we have these shrimp lo mein noodles, which are pan fried lo mein noodles with sauteed shrimp garnished with green onions. Let's get a good bite with the shrimp and the noodles. Mm. 
The shrimp is nice and juicy and snappy, not tough or mushy at all. The noodles surprisingly are cooked really well too. Like they have a little bit of a chew to them and they're super flavorful. It has this kind of like savory soy sauce flavor to it. This one is definitely a hit for me. Also at Longevity Noodle Co, they have these garlic noodles. I actually tried them in my last year's video and there's a good amount of items from that video that made a return this year. So I'll put those on the screen so you can go check them out in my last year's video. Since I already reviewed them, I didn't want to repeat them so I could try more stuff for you guys, but definitely go check out that video because there's some really good gems in there. Next, from Red Dragon Spice Traders, we have this spicy fried rice with tofu and crispy peas. This one, I have to admit, I'm a little bit nervous to try it. I think the look of the peas is really throwing me off, but I still want to give it a fair shot. Let's give it a try. Whoa. I'm not sure if it's just mine, but those crispy peas aren't exactly crispy. They kind of taste like dried up peas that lost their crisp. It could have been that I waited too long to eat it, so it absorbed some moisture. But yeah, I can't say I'm a huge fan of those uh, peas. <laughs> the tofu is cooked pretty well, and I'm actually surprised at the spice level in the dishes that we tried so far. Like, usually when Disney says things are spicy, they're not that spicy, but I've definitely been feeling the heat building. Not that it's like super spicy, like I'm gonna need to chug milk or anything, but it does bring a level of heat. I will say, that the rice is a bit mushy. And when I eat fried rice, I like to feel each grain of rice. So this one, it's a bit too mushy for my liking. Hopefully this next one is a hit. I actually have high hopes for this. It's the gochugaru shrimp roll, which is gochugaru marinated shrimp on a potato roll with kimchi slaw, gochujang mayonnaise, and a spicy pickle spear. Look at how stuffed with shrimp that is. Like how many shrimp are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? At least eight shrimp in here. You can use the sip and savor pass on this. So I definitely think it's worth it. Mmm, wow, that's actually really good. The shrimp is nice and snappy and juicy, really well cooked and marinated and seasoned. And then you get the refreshing crunch from that pickle and the slaw. And I also like the bread. Like looking at the bread, I did not expect it to be good, but it has a nice chew to it. And overall, considering the value and the taste, I would say definitely put this on your list. Like this is super worth it. Again, I'm getting that kick of spice, but the bread balances it out and the acidity from the slaw and the pickle. Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed with this. Mm. Next, we have this mandarin orange mousse cake. It's layers of mandarin mousse with vanilla cake and clementine compote finished with white chocolate crunch balls and a tangerine glaze. Look how cute it is, like it's beautiful. This is literally a work of art. All right, let's cut this open, see what it looks like inside. You definitely see those layers in there. I also love how shiny the orange is on the outside. Mmm, woo, this is actually quite nice. It has a light, orange tangerine flavor. The outer orange layer is kind of jelly-like, but then the mousse on the inside, it's light and fluffy. There's also a very thin layer of cake on the bottom. So it's both beautiful and delicious. Mm. I also love how jiggly it is. Look at the jiggle. <laughs> You guys, Goofy literally just ran up and hugged me. That was like the best moment of my life. The night goes by, I can't describe what you are. You could be a one too. Make me wanna come through. Feel like being brand new. Over you, over you. You could be the one too. We just stopped by Terran Treats and this churro I have been looking forward to all day. So this is the strawberry green tea churro. It's a green tea cinnamon sugar dusted churro with strawberry cream sauce topped with freeze dried strawberries. I love a green tea strawberry combo, so let's give it a try. Hmm has that classic Disney churro texture. Crispy and crunchy on the outside and chewy on the inside. In terms of flavor, 
I really only taste the cinnamon. I don't taste much green tea or strawberry at all. Okay, on the second bite, I did get a hint of green tea and a very subtle taste of strawberry. I mean, hey, I do love my Disney churro, so I'm not mad at it, but I wish the green tea strawberry flavor was stronger. While we're trying churros, we also picked up this dragon fruit churro. It's a churro rolled in coconut dragon fruit sugar topped with a dragon fruit icing. Just look at that beautiful color. I'm obsessed. Mmm, this one has a much stronger flavor than the green tea strawberry one. Like you can actually taste the dragon fruit and the coconut. It's also fresh and warm, which just elevates it. I gotta say, I was way more excited for the green tea strawberry one, but I actually think I like this one better. Just a nice and sweet treat. And it also helps that it's beautiful to look at. Then from Studio Catering Co., we got these chasu style ribs. They're chasu braised pork ribs with Asian inspired glaze topped with roasted peanuts and scallions. Anything with chasu, I'm very excited for. And I love that they were generous with the peanuts and scallions. Mm. Oh my God, it's so tender. I barely even needed to bite down. It just like fell off the bone. It's sweet, it's sticky, has a little tanginess to it. And also I am really enjoying the crunch from the peanuts. Like I'm not even usually someone who likes peanuts in my savory food, but today I'm really enjoying them. You get a little brightness from the scallions. I will say that my first bite was pretty tender, but as I started eating more towards the middle, it's getting a little dry. So just keep that in mind. But overall, I do really like the flavor. And then of course we had to get another drink. This one is from Wrapped with Love and it's the Yuja Pineapple Cooler. It has pineapple juice, Yuja puree, rice milk, and condensed milk garnished with a cherry and coconut foam. Just look at how pretty those layers are. I love it. And I'm kind of matching with my ears. <laughs> Let's give this a mix. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, the strongest flavor is for sure pineapple. I get that sweet tanginess, but there is also a little bit of creaminess from that rice milk and condensed milk while still keeping it light and refreshing. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about that cherry and coconut foam, but it actually complements it really well. I'd definitely order this again. more food. First up from Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta, we have this bulgogi pizza. It's marinated beef and spicy corn cheese sauce topped with green onion. I've never actually had the pizza from Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta, so I'm excited. Mm, the bulgogi is nice and meaty. They're pretty good chunks of meat. It's savory, but also sweet. And then the cheese adds this nice creaminess that I really like. The pizza crust, the bottom does have a nice crisp, but when you get to the middle, it's a bit too doughy for my liking, but it does have good flavor. Happy New Year, hope y'all enjoy it. We have switched locations because they had a performance starting over there. Next up, we went to Paradise Garden Grill and we got this mango pudding. It has a hint of coconut milk topped with mango and a chocolate decor. Mango pudding was my favorite dessert as a kid. Like every time we go to dim sum, my family knew to always order it for me because they knew I loved it. So I'm really excited about this. Oh my God, this is like pretty legit mango pudding. I will say the mangoes on top, they're not very ripe, so they're a little crunchy, but the pudding itself, very mango-y, very smooth. This literally brings me back to my childhood. It's like nostalgia in a cup. Mm. Mm. Next up, we have this bulgogi fried rice with kimchi, egg, pickled cucumber, green onion, and sesame seeds. This one uses plant-based bulgogi, so I'm very interested in trying that. Wow, this is really flavorful. The fried rice is savory. It has a lot of garlic flavor. It kind of reminds me of like Filipino garlic rice, which I love. And also the other fried rice we had earlier today was like mushy. This one cooked perfectly. I can feel each grain of rice, which is my ideal rice texture in fried rice. The plant-based beef, I don't think it really quite tastes like real beef, but 
it's good enough. Like it complements the dish really well. It's so good with the kimchi too. It adds that nice crunch. It's like refreshing, acidic. You get that like fermented kimchi flavor that we all know and love. Wow, this is like miles better than the other fried rice we had. Next up, we have this tiger milk tea with brown sugar boba. This drink I actually tried last year and it was not very good. So I actually was enticed to try it again this year to see if it got any better. At least that's what I'm hoping. Woo. Let's give it a good stir. Wait. Okay, wait. This boba texture is way better than last year. This one, it's nice and soft and chewy. They did the boba texture right this time. I feel like when you get boba at Disney, it's just very inconsistent. I've had some that are the perfect boba texture. I've had some that were way off. It was hard or it was mushy. So I feel like whenever I order here, I don't know what to expect. It's very hit or miss, but today is a hit. So I'm very lucky. <laughs> In terms of the milk tea itself, it does have a tea flavor. It could be creamier and the tea flavor could be stronger. Like you can taste it, but I wish it was more prominent. But honestly, the boba, that's a win for me. And then we have another dessert. This is their baked brown sugar nyangao, and it's baked sticky rice cake topped with brown sugar. Ooh, it looks really chewy inside. Mmm, mmm. That texture is like a mochi cake, kind of, or similar to like a mochi muffin. I really like it. Super nice brown sugar flavor. I do think that some parts are a bit grainy. So if you don't like grainy textures, this might not be for you. But for the most part, it's like a brown sugar mochi muffin. It's chewy, it's soft, it's sweet. I'm a fan. If I could tell you, I don't think you believe how long I felt this way. Okay, we are at the Lamplight Lounge. I actually don't eat here that much anymore because it's really hard to get a reservation and a lot of the times they don't take walk-ins, but this time I managed to snag us a reservation. I actually used this service called Mouse Dining and it notified me whenever there was a reservation available. This is not sponsored or anything, but if you want to get a reservation, I highly recommend it. It helped me get this reservation. Also, there is a fire in front of us, so please don't mind the flickering, but we are here and we're going to try their Lunar New Year items. We have the Spicy Dan Dan Noodle. They're crispy pork belly and noodles tossed in spicy Sichuan sauce paired with carrots, cucumber, and crispy shallots garnished with green onions and micro cilantro. We're gonna give this a good mix. Woo! Oh my gosh. They look so saucy. Let's get those carrots and cucumbers in there. That looks pretty good. Just look at that noodle bowl. Let's give it a try. Those are so flavorful. The sauce is so thick and it coats the noodles beautifully. It's a little bit spicy, very savory and umami. It kind of has like a Chinese zhajiangmian flavor. It also has like a nuttiness to it as well. I really feel like this is a hybrid of dandan dan noodles and zhajiangmian. The pork is meaty. I feel like it's not really crispy because in the description it said it was crispy pork belly, but I'm not really getting a crispiness to it. It's a little tough actually, but I'm pretty impressed with the notes of like spicy, umami savoriness in this. Mm. We also got the milk tea and taro donuts. They're warm, fluffy donuts dipped in milk tea, drizzled with taro icing, garnished with boba with milk tea dipping sauce. This dish is actually what convinced me to get a Lamplight Lounge reservation. I saw it on the Lunar New Year food guide on the Disney website and I was like, I need that in my life. So I hope these live up to my expectations. Got a donut with the boba on top and all the sauce. Mm. Oh wow, I definitely get the taro flavor in here. It's nice and sweet, just that classic taro flavor that I love. The donut's actually fried really nicely and it has a little sweetness that I enjoy. All right, let's dip it in this milk tea dipping sauce. Mm. Oh, that does taste like milk tea. This is literally boba milk tea in a sauce. It has a decent black tea flavor. It's creamy. It is sweet, but it's not overly sickeningly sweet. The boba is soft and chewy. This did live up to my expectations. Mm. Mm. I'm so happy.
concludes our Lunar New Year video. Out of everything we tried, I'd say my top three items were the shrimp gochugaru roll, the milk tea and taro donuts, and the yuja pineapple cooler, with the honorable mention being the strawberry milk tea macaron. As promised, I am giving away a pair of these boba ears. I managed to snag a matcha pair and they're so, so cute. So if you want a chance to win those, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload, give this video a like, and comment below what was your favorite food from the video. I always love reading your comments and hearing from you guys. And also make sure if someone replies to your comment, it is actually from me. You can clip my profile, it will have a check mark, and you can see all my videos there. So please don't get scammed. Good luck on the giveaway. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Burn